welcome our next speaker. Please give it up for Mr. Puneet Das, President, Packaged Beverages, India and South Asia, Tata Consumer Products. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah, all right. Okay, uh, we are really excited to be here and address, uh, you know, all the people who are very keen to understand, uh, you know, what building brands to purpose is. Uh, it's a legacy that has been there with Tata Tea for many years and, you know, every brand team or every generation uh, sort of gets to carry on this legacy and we're very proud of it. Uh, but just wanted to share some insights on, on what sort of, you know, what's, what's behind this journey and, you know, what are some of the uh, learnings that one can take from this. <clears throat> so, uh, Tarati Jagore, you know, I, I mean, I don't need, need to obviously explain. It's, it's, it's something that came in together in 2006 and 2007. And before I talk about that, I mean, I just wanted to just very quickly touch upon that, you know, what was the reason why we wanted to, you know, uh, talk about this topic today is because we are going through, we are in the times when brand purpose is not just a buzzword anymore, but actually has a lot of meaning. Uh, and, and now there have been enough studies. Earlier there were studies done in West which showed that brands with purpose are brands that consumers sort of, you know, go for. But it has now been proven in studies done in India also. Uh, which shows that why brand purpose is more important than ever. Most of the consumers uh, of today are saying that up to 66% choices, you know, you can influence if they know that, you know, what's the company or the brand, uh, sort of, you know, how are they adding meaning to the society or, or, you know, what do they really stand for beyond the commercial interest, so to speak. Um, authenticity, transparency is something that everyone's demanding out of manufacturers, out of brands. And these things are becoming extremely critical for consumers and will only increase as we move forward. You know, if you have any of these conversations, especially with your nieces, nephews, kids, you know, they, they already are a generation which have started, uh, you know, the first question that they ask is, you know, is this brand ethical? What's the sourcing, et cetera, et cetera. So this is the world that we are going to uh, sort of, it's, it's only going to get uh, more and more uh, you know, uh, sort of frequent these questions. So it's better that brands understand and, and identify what do they stand for over and over the commercial interest. Uh, and in case you're wondering, these are Western numbers, you know, there was a study done by Kantar also in India which showed that, you know, uh, you can swing up to 10 percentage equity points, coming back to marketing, you know, if, if consumers see you as an authentic brand and a brand with a purpose, so to speak. Now, as I said, we were very lucky that before the word brand and purpose came together uh, in 2006, uh, there was this philosophy of Jagore which was born. And uh, it was born out of a very simple wordplay, but something so rooted in the category that it's amazing. Basically, function benefit of a tea is refreshment and the fact that you wake up, right, every morning feeling refreshed. And, and the then teams just did a wordplay, which is like, it's, it just does not wake you up. It helps you awaken. And suddenly a functional benefit became an emotional benefit and a philosophy, which we're very glad that has stood the test of time, so to speak. Uh, at that point in time, the Jaguar, and, and which is still true, Jaguar tenants were based on really challenging people's apathy to, you know, things that were happening around them. And and really awaken the collective conscious of India. And the whole philosophy of Jagore is not about just giving gyan. It's about really unlocking the power of the 1.3 billion population and urging people to take action. So it's not just, so it's about, you know, uh, just, just telling something. It's really about to incite an action so that, you know, we all work towards a better society. <clears throat> and of course, walk the talk uh, as a brand and as a company. Now, Several memorable campaigns have happened over the year. When it was launched, it was all about voting, uh, corruption, later on woman empowerment. And I'm not going to run through this because we can spend half a day, uh, you know, and these are really iconic ads. But I think what's important to understand is that the core of the philosophy has sort of remained. In fact, even during times of uh, pandemic, 
uh, you know, we were in fact quite lucky to sort of activate this. Uh, the first campaign actually happened just two months into the lockdown. Um, and we realized at that point in time, when, when people were starting to get to know more and more facts, that, you know, uh, elderly, who, who were the most affected in the, you know, in the phases and, and even in the entire phase, were actually going through, you know, a series of issues that, you know, people were, people really needed to talk about. And that's when we started the Isbar Badokle Jagore and the whole insight about how, you know, Nana Nani Dada Dadi took care of you when you were growing up. So it's time for you to take care of them and people around you. And as the wave one, you know, uh, happened, uh, or, or we went through that, an unfortunate wave two, etc. The vaccination drive started, right? And 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 we realized that people were in the initial, the very first vaccination drive. Obviously, the anxiousness is for us to protect ourselves and you know maybe our immediate ones. But we realized that's not going to be just the solution, right? I mean, vaccination and uh, prevention of these things happen when everyone around you is vaccinated. And hence, we started this uh, whole thing of is bar sabke jagore that. Don't just think about yourself or your immediate family. Think about the Kamwali, the you know the security guard, etc. Um, you know, encourage them to go and you know because uh, and this was a real life conversation I had with my maid. Took me seven days to convince her of why vaccination is important because they had all sorts of myths, etc. So the point here is that you know the this is not just about a marketing gimmick. In fact, we we don't even call it a campaign or something. It's it's something that's very close to our heart and an activation that we all believe in uh, that sort of really makes a change for the better. So obviously, in, you know, when the pandemic sector was over, uh, we realized that, you know, what's what's something that is, you know, very pertinent to today's uh, issues, you know, today's India, and what is something that we can throw light on and make it a topic which people can talk about. And thus was born this whole thing about, I mean, it's its not really, uh, we all know it, we have all been talking about it, we just use different words. Uh, it's its about the rise of global warming that we are all facing. In fact, the city I am in, uh, you know, uh, is, is popular and famous for this. Uh, with all the uh, environmental pollution, the, the air, uh, the water, etc. that we sort of, you know, uh, go through around this time. Um, and so sa we said, okay, climate change is interesting, but you know, how do we as a brand add value uh, to this cause? Of course, you know, this came out of a uh, lot of newspaper clippings, etc. And this was about six months back, uh, beginning of the year or close to the summer season, is is when actually people had started. While you know, they were they, they were Western talks, but in in India, you started seeing a lot of this reporting about climate change starting to happen. Uh, you know, especially in the dailies and even in the regional dailies etc which meant that you know people have the, the the people have started there are undercurrents and people have started talking about this as something which affects us also as as indians uh interestingly the biggest change biggest conversations that are happening are actually happening uh with kids on on the on the purpose of climate change and there are you know of course there peaks in certain time uh but especially around you know November, December, Diwali time, winters, etc. Uh, you know, it, it really sort of peaks up. Uh, that was a pattern before this year for sure. And it is being led by kids in India. Now, it's very important uh, also to understand that in the past when we have spoken about these changes, we have actually, while, while we are a tea for the homemaker or the housewife, so to speak, we have spoken to the youth because we feel they have always been the bastions of change and, you know, through their voice, help them in. And you will see this in the campaigns that have happened in the past. And this time we realized that it's really the younger audience, even even the, the, the kids of today who are actually, you know, holding up this bastion of climate change. And we really need to sort of listen to them and understand what, what we need to do as a society. So... The, the question was, what do we do? And we said, you know, uh, that at a fundamental level, there are some challenges that we need to fix. First of all, when you say the word climate change, sounds very intimidating. And a problem that's happening, which is so complex that, you know, or, or so far away, that what's it to me on an everyday level, right? Uh, and and that's, that's the general mindset. We spoke to people and said, yeah, somebody is doing it, industry, carbon. I, we, they know all the right words. But how is it affecting me on a day-to-day -day basis? 
is something that you know is, is isn't really top of the mind you don't leave your home thinking oh my god i have to tackle climate change today right so uh, so the idea was how do you make it personal and relatable that this problem this is it talks to me as a, as an audience and the other one was obviously simplify it you know there's a lot of data facts even in the word jargon sort of is associated with it how do you really simplify it so that consumers understand the issues they are facing and as they start correcting it hopefully you know uh, how do we sort of go, go around doing that so simple insight was or, or rather the call to action was how can we distill this huge problem into a simple yet relatable and actionable call to action now of course you know we looked at kids and and the kind of things that they were speaking about you know what kind of uh, uh, what were the conversations happening online etc and like i said we we sort of took them as the role models through which this change will be driven unlike the other previous jagore campaigns where youth uh, was was the ones who were really driving the change and and what we banked upon uh, is to drive relatability is a very simple insight first of all the fact was that really i mean most of us sitting in this or uh, in this room if i may take the liberty of saying that are are gonna pretty much you know we have done what we have done to to where the environment is today it's really our kids and the next generation who are gonna pay the biggest price as the years go through uh, they are the ones who are gonna inherit this planet and have the you know will be sort of the worst affected so to speak and generations after that so to speak now our insight was very simple it was a very basic human level insight as parents you always want to protect your kids you know that's the core of evolution that's the core of human behavior you do anything to protect uh, your kids your siblings uh, so that you know they sort of grow up and you know be successful and we said that nothing is more important to parents than sort of ensuring to uh, that they secure the kids future and hence the jagore point of view was very simple don't do it for yourself do it for your kids because that's the most important thing so apne le nahi apne bachcho ke liye jagore and that was where like i said through the through the kids uh, lens and that was through which the jagore campaign was born about tarati apne le nahi to apne bachcho ke liye jagore now very simple insight you know how do you sort of activate it how do you sort of uh, you know what are the frameworks that we follow when we sort of work on 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 a, on on getting this purpose out uh, so jagore has always built has been built on basically uh, three tenets or three the frameworks of jagore as we call it which is really about taking a big topic and generating awareness which is the most relevant you have seen it uh, corruption voting this time climate change and making it you know uh, i mean the whole pitch that we have uh, when we sort of work on this is how do how do a regular consumer an everyday homemaker talk about this problem if if they are to, if they are having this conversations in their household that means that we have been able to sort of spread the awareness so to speak it's about then facilitating and enable i talked about unlocking the power of 1.3 billion indians taking action so that we can work towards uh, solving and elevating this problem and of course walk the talk as a brand as a company what else can we do to our bit of it to sort of uh, you know uh, ensuring that Uh, we are able to tackle this problem apart from the other two so the uh, the first part was really like i said bringing this uh, insight and this complex problem into a very simple relatable story and hence hence the phase one which was about spreading the awareness sort of happened and this is what we sort of came up as our in marketing as we call it the launch key visual or or, or the launch av so to speak which really mirrored the two worlds the world that most of it has been brought up in i mean i remember playing cricket outside fearlessly there was no talk about climate change and you know the only talk used to be ki you know uh, dinner ke liye aa jana time pe that's it you know there was no talk about it today i'm sure parents in gurgaon and most of the cities probably uh, i mean although there is no solution but today they're just talking about how many air purifiers to get etc so so it really brought in the contrast this was our childhood but is this the future that our kids are going to get and this was the launch commercial that we used to bring out this uh, uh, this powerful thought now this was this 
got launched on the World Environment Day, which is in June. It was peak summers, so imagine just Delhi, but in the reverse, you know, at 45 degrees, whatever happening. And there were a lot of, uh, you know, the news around that time were carrying a lot of warnings about flash floods, etc., happening. In fact, a lot of cities had got affected, not just Delhi. And this was the, uh, you know, around that time when this commercial was launched. I'm just going to play this. Let's see if it. गर्मी बढ़ती रही ना तो कहीं सूखा कहीं फ्लड रोज होगा बेटा इसमें हम क्या करें क्लाइमेट चेंज हो रहा है पढ़ा तो होगा नहीं आपने पापा क्लाइमेट चेंज से लड़ने के लिए हमें चेंज होना पड़ेगा क्लाइमेट चेंज से हम कैसे लड़ सकते हैं जानिए जागोरे डॉट कॉम पर गर्म सिर्फ चाय अच्छी लगती है प्लेनेट नहीं सो थैंक यू सो वेरी सिंपल इनसाइड अबाउट हाउ यू नो पीपल आर बॉलर्ड अबाउट रेजिंग लोअरिंग द टेम्परेचर ऑफ द एसी बाय टू डिग्री so that they can sleep comfortably but the whole planet is boiling or you know uh, all this debate happening about 1.5 degree is the right target or not I mean, that's the reality right we all live in and it sort of we obviously brought it through the kids lens and you could see how how it sort of came about right you know climate change ho raha hai uh, and and the the kids saying that you know if we don't change this will continue and and we really need to do something about it now this website in the end was was really not was not just a brand website the whole idea was to sort of get it you know that what can people do which was the phase 2 one second so like i said it was launched on the world environment day um and while that was on tv on on the world environment day it was launched in print with with the key visual and and an innovation about the kids letter to the parents that you know you have sort of grown up in an environment you have told me stories about how you used to play outside etc but this is the world that you're sort of giving me you know uh, when i go out you're always concerned etc so so like i said you know narrating the story through kids lens and making it absolutely relatable no parent could say no to this fact you know those who are aware of this uh, and the environment live in of course amplified through various other stuff etc i'm just going to go through a little faster the second phase was really about enabling this was about spreading awareness got the message what do i do uh a large part of it was really about creating a platform so that people understand that okay now that i'm aware of the problem what can i do on a daily basis to mitigate this or to fight this and uh, of course a lot of we worked with a lot of experts uh to sort of on our on 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 sort of what the platform we created uh, called jagore.com uh where we brought in very quick actionable things that people can do on a daily basis and and it's a it's a ever building rep- repertoire a repository of information etc and said in a very simple uh, language of what all of us can do on a daily basis to fight climate change what are tips techniques including simple things like changing your light bulb into led etc so on and so forth so that people are able to also you know see some immediate action and not just you know like they add and say great now i want to sort what climate change is and and of course the idea was to walk the talk and of course while we started the journey is a long way to go but you know even in terms of walking the talk at least we we sort of i think uh, uh, worked with a news channel to sort of bring out a whole discussion where the, actually the, you know you always see this panelists as adults and all uh, what in kids who sort of spoke about uh how their planet is getting affected and what parents need to do if they need to secure their future mila acha mausam khuli hawa saaf pani lekin ab to sab bigad gaya badhti garmi pani ki kami aur saanson mein zehreeli hawa hai aakhir hum apne bachon ko ye kaisa bhavishya de rahe hain apne liye nahi apne bachon ke liye jagore vishu paryavaran divas par dekhiye khaas peshkash tata t jagore is ravivar sirf abp news par Uh, we got Pankaj Tripathi to talk about it in his own words. बहुत ज़्यादा लगाव है. अब तो बच्चों को स्कूल में पढ़ाई भी जा रही है. EVM करके सब्जेक्ट भी आ गया. I think. 
तो बहुत जरूरी है उसके बारे में बात करना कि आने वाले समय के लिए हम चाहते हैं ना कि दुनिया जैसे हमें मिली थी उसे थोड़ा सुंदर करके हम अपने बच्चों को दे हमारे बचपन में मैंने कभी पानी की किल्लत गाँव में नहीं देखी है लेकिन शहरों में देखा है जब से पढ़ाई के लिए बाहर आ गया तो ऑफ कोर्स हम सब चाहेंगे समाज का हर वर्ग हर व्यक्ति चाहेगा कि हम बेहतर जलवायु हवा पानी अच्छा वातावरण अपने बच्चों को दें मानव ही इसके पीछे कारण है अपने आप तो हो नहीं रहा है तो कारण भी हम ही हैं हम जंगल मिटाने पे लगे हुए हैं जंगल हमें मिटाने पे लगा हुआ है यही चल रहा है तो मैं कभी पिछले दिनों कहीं पढ़ रहा था कि चूहा अपने लिए चूहेदानी नहीं बनाता है लेकिन हम मानव अपने लिए बहुत सारे विनाश की चीजें बना लेते हैं बहुत जरूरी है मतलब हमें क्या चाहिए बिना हवा और बिना पानी के कैसे जिएंगे संभव है क्या तो थोड़ा हमें जागना पड़ेगा प्रेम करना पड़ेगा नेचर से हम अपने आसपास जितना ग्रीन बेल्ट बढ़ाएं उतना बेहतर है हम अगर चाहें तो जैसे अभी हमने बात की कि गाड़ियों का कम इस्तेमाल करें तो ऐसी छोटी छोटी बहुत सी चीजें हैं जो हम अवेयर हो जाएंगे तो हम बहुत आसानी से सुधार सकते हैं और बदल सकते हैं मैं तो आए दिन बोलते रहता हूँ कि जन्मदिन पे एक दूसरे को गिफ्ट के रूप में पौधा गिफ्ट करें प्लस जितना कम हो सके जीवन में प्लास्टिक का प्रयोग करें थैंक यू ऑफ कोर्स वी गॉट लॉर्ड ऑफ रिस्पॉन्स लॉर्ड ऑफ डिस्कशन हैपन अराउंड इट गॉट कवर्ड इन यू नो न्यूज इन पब्लिकेशन एक्सेट्रा इट वॉज अ बजी टॉपिक बट आई थिंक वॉट पीपल अप्रिशिएटेड वाई मेट अप्रिशिएटेड इज अ सिंपल एंड द रिलेटेबल एंड द वेरी पर्सनेबल प्रॉब्लम दैट यू आर एबल टू सॉर्ट ऑफ मेक इट आई एम नॉट प्ले दिस मूविंग ऑन ऑफ कोर्स जस्ट लाइक एनी कैंपेन वी डू ट्रैक आर रिजल्ट got a terrific response i'm not going to go through the numbers are all there for you to see it's one of our best ever campaigns but again the whole idea is that it's i mean what it shows us is it's a problem that people identified with very quickly and you know are are sort of really aware of you know what or starting to become aware of it and and you know keep this at a very very uh, take this at a very very seriously and urgently and of course i i you know uh, I realize we are a brand, and of course, you know, preach brand talk. So, as marketers, you also wonder that yes, you're putting your money in it. What does it get you, brand? So, if you remember, we started the slide with how consumers are preferring brands and are able to, you know, you are able to increase your equity scores uh, once the, you know, sort of if you are if people understand what you stand for, and and you know, even in our case, you know, basis these campaigns, we were seeing equity scores lift all across, and not just equity scores, but hard measures such as. share household penetration etc also increase so in the end i think all this is you know really great but i think the bigger price for us uh, that lies in the bigger kpi that all of us have to drive is really uh, what this picture symbolizes you know allow our kids to have a future and it's for all of us to think about and not just already jagore that what can we do to elevate the future and fight climate change thank you to us well with the same we like to present a small token of appreciation for your time and for the beautiful presentation ladies and gentlemen let's give it up for mr konik patel director brand sales india in mobi and i believe if i have not mentioned it before i'd like to mention it now ke taaliyon par gst nahi lagta taaliyan tax free hain and with the same let me remind you we are nearing towards the most anticipated